G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in today's video is a way of working out the greatest common factor, a really fast way of doing it for two numbers. So you could use it for more numbers, but we'll go for two numbers for this video. Okay, so say the two numbers we we're looking at were 60 and 72. The way that we do this really, really quickly, really fast as follows. Uh, now first off, you look at two numbers that go into these, okay? So you might look and go, hey, two goes into this. So I'm just going to put a 2 here, and I'm going to see how many times the 2 goes into these numbers. Okay, so 2 goes into 60 30 times, and it goes into 72 36 times. Okay, next thing we do is we say, okay, so is there any number that goes into both of these? Oh yeah, 2 does, once again. 2 goes into this one 15 times, and it goes into this one 18 times. Okay, is there any number that goes into both of these? Alright, 3 does. 3 goes into this one 5 times, and it goes into this one 6 times. Now, is there any number that goes into both of these? Oh, you could say, yeah, 1 does, but 1 won't reduce the number anymore. So, we've hit this stage where these, we have a couple of uh, numbers here where they, no, they can't be reduced anymore. So, we look at these three numbers, the 2, the 2, and the 3, and we multiply these together to get that greatest common factor. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3, our greatest common factor is 12. Pretty easy, right? Okay. Let's have a look at another one of these. Okay, so say we want to work out the greatest common factor. Uh, let's have a look at, what about 72 and 108? Okay, you might even give this a go. So, you could look at these straight away and you could possibly recognise that 9 goes into both of these, okay? So you could be like, okay, 9 goes into this one, okay? 9, 8 to 72, and 12 times 9 is 108. Okay, so that's our first number. We've got the next ones. Is there any number that goes into both of these? Yeah, okay, 4 does. 4 goes into this one two times, and it goes into this one three times, and is there any numbers that go into both of these? Hey, there's not. So, we multiply these two numbers through. Nine times four, our highest, our highest common factor is 36. Anyway, don't actually think of that video. I hope you liked it. It's a fairly quick and easy way of doing this without getting into messy factor trees. I always find myself running into and, and getting squashed up if I use these. So I find this a lot neater, easier method of doing this. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.